What your name is? Sam Bolinski. I'm Sam Bolinski. <laughs> <laughs> you can um, the volume a little bit. Oh yeah, so. I've been in the uh, Special Olympics. I've competed for the Special Olympics for probably about like eight years. I would like to say summed up, including other sports. Um, and uh, the, the reason why I've actually you know, done the, the sports for the Special Olympics is to support them um, is because I grew up in high school with a, um, and through public school systems with a, um, a like a, you know, also with learning disability and IEP. Um, and, I, and I learned how to um, adjust to it, you know, and I learned how to cope with it and um, just to, you know, just pretty much get used to my own learning style and I've learned how to, you know, do that. And, um, you know, I've, I've, you know, made it through school completely all right. I graduated all right. Um, and, uh, you know, now I'm going to college for fitness leadership and exercise science. Um, I've been in powerlifting for about I would like to say since I was a freshman in high school or a sophomore in high school, um, and you know I've I've really enjoyed it. I've, I love the sport. Um, so you know then when I heard you know that there was also um, when I've been doing USA when I first did it I also did it for this I did it for the Special Olympics, um, and uh, then when I actually got offered to be in, in USAPL meets competing with you know the Northeastern powerlifting team, um, you know competing with them. Um, I, I actually absolutely love the idea. Um, so not only do I keep compete for the Special Olympics like every summer to support them, but I do um, USAPL meets and international meets and national meets when I get offered for them. Cool. Yep. And you broke you've broken records at Special Olympic events, right? Yes. You've broken state yeah. records. Because, uh, well, as you remember, there was um, at the last summer games meet there was. Uh, you know, the uh, three USAPL judges that were there and also coaches of the Northeastern Powerlifting team. And they knew me really well because I've competed with the, with the USAPL before that meet last year. Um, and, you know, they know me very well. You know, friends with them on Facebook and all that. And, you know, we keep in touch. Um, but, you know, they, when they were judging, you know, me at the last meet, um, you know, I obviously went... I broke like state records. I think it was a state record for the bench and for the squat, but I, I missed my attempt on the 500 deadlift. But at the last meet, well, that was at the summer games meet for Special Olympics last year. What's your goals uh, for bench, squat, and, and, and def, uh, deadlift, and like the future goals? My future goals? Um, well, what I want, what I'm planning at this uh, national meet is, is that I want to get, I at least want to get, you know, at least like a five. Uh, like a 530 deadlift, possibly or around there. Yeah, 530 pound deadlift um, or 551, depending, because it's it's also a few months. There's plenty of time to improve on that. Um, but I, I want to see my squat, which is I want to see my squat go up to like 460 or you know 480 or something. And I want to see you know my bench go up to like another 10 pounds, another 12, so possibly like 350, like 352. I want to see that improve and. Uh, you know, those are those are my goals, definitely. But um, throughout time, like in the next few years, I also what well, my main goal was is that I, I wanted to get I wanted to train up to the point where I get, where I could get um you know, a 500 pound squat or more, and I wanted to get like you know 600 pound deadlift or more. And I also wanted to get a 405 deadlift or I mean a 405 bench or more. Um, yeah, and I already said the deadlift right, yeah, 600. And uh, yeah, so yeah, 600 deadlift and. Um, and 500 or more squat and like 405 or more bench. And I want that, those are my goals definitely for future. Um, personal goals that I wanna, I wanna use. But it's just that, uh, <laughs> cause I, I remember, uh, you know, one of the, uh, one of the, um, you know, a guy, or it was, it was someone in the Northeastern Powerlifting team that told me, they said, once you get to that weight, Sam, trust me, you'll never be happy. You always want to achieve for more. <laughs> and, uh, and I was just like, well, yeah, you're probably right. Cause with me, I'm always, I'm always just like, I'm always, I'm always an overachiever. Like after, after, you know, I get to that goal, I'm going to want to do more. Obviously I'm not going to want to just stick at the same weight. <laughs> it's not like I want to, I'm going to hit four or five on bench and be like, see you later. That's it. You know, it's just, it's, I want to definitely do more. I want, I want to, you know, I want to go far in my powerlifting career. I want to, I want to go for, far with it. Um, because what I'm studying in uh, college is, uh, my major is fitness leadership and exercise science. 
exercise science. Um, and it's it's uh, pretty much a sp it's pretty much like a sports medicine field, and uh, you know, and it's um, I'll be getting you know once I graduate from uh, uh, you know from college, I'll be you know. Where is college? What college? Where? Oh, I go to uh, Massachusetts Community College in Gardner. So after I graduate from there, I'll be getting an associate's, a two-year degree. So I mean, it'll definitely be something that you know that I'll be happy with once I graduate. It's definitely a big accomplishment. So. What I always believed about the um, about the Special Olympics organizations is is that you know it, it, what I believe that it's all about is that it's, it's for people that have learning disabilities or IEPs that can compete together in a sport and um, and pretty much you know what I always believe that it's just that it's to show people just because you have a learning disability it doesn't mean you can't you know do certain sports and that's what I always believed in because there are people out there that will believe that will that will think like. You know why are these kids competing? You know and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, and I'm always, and I always think to myself like, you know, don't judge them. I mean, don't judge people like that. I mean, just because you have a learning disability or just because you're different from other people doesn't mean you can't compete in the sport. It has no, it has nothing to do with that. And um, it has no, it doesn't matter what you look like, you know, what what disability you have or anything like that. You're still a human, and you still kill, you still can can, can compete. But I, I believe that it, you know, from what the whole goal of the Special Olympics is, is that. You know, it's it's to have people come together, and you know, excite people for who they are, and also not only that, um, it, it it'll show it can show people that you can still compete in that sport no matter what disability you have or what you look like or whatever. I mean, you can still compete. You can still compete in that sport no matter what disability you have. And I'm pretty. I, I always thought that was that was one of the reasons of the Special Olympics too. And I, you know, I mean, it's and also it's. That isn't the main reason, but that's one of the reasons I thought, you know, one of the some of the reasons, but out of a hundred. But you know, I always I always believed because I always grew up where I grew up in a high school. When I went to high school, it was it was it was kind of rough. You know, there were people judging, you know, people that had you know IEPs and stuff like that, and you know, like oh, you can't do this sport, you have an IEP, or you can't do this sport because you have a learning disability. Just because you have a learning disability doesn't mean you can't compete in a certain sport. It doesn't mean that you can learn the sport. You know, I mean, you can still learn it, but maybe they learn it a different way from other people do. You know, we're not robots. We don't learn the same way all the time by other people. Sometimes it's, I mean, it's natural. We're human. We, sometimes we learn different from other people, and that's fine completely. Because we're not programmed as, you know, just, just the moment that we're born, you know, we're not just programmed as robots to learn the same as other people. Because if we learn the same as other people, life wouldn't be interesting and it would be kind of boring you know what i'm saying it wouldn't it wouldn't be interesting and it would, it would be the same all the time and it would just it, would, it, it you know i mean it would just i, I it, you know what i'm saying though it's just that it wouldn't be um it would be everyone would be the same and it's just that it wouldn't make life interesting because no one everyone would have the same kind of personality and the same learning the same learning uh style and everything else and you know there's no way that and there'll be there would be um pretty much there would pretty much be no reason that that you guys can learn from each other. Like, why would because there would be no way for you guys to learn about each other? Because you know, what's good? What would be good? What would be um, useful to learn about each other? That you pretty much do the same thing. <laughs> you know, it's it's always good to connect with people that you know have that have you know differences and from what other people believe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, it's just that it's just that. Um, you know, if we all believed and we all had the same, you know, thing going on, if we were all programmed the same way, there's no way we could learn from each other. You know, it would just be the same. You know, we wouldn't have to worry about learning, but we wouldn't have to worry about learning from each other because, because we would all have the same information. You know what I'm saying? Though it's just, it's an awesome. Point. Well, we're all made. You know, it's just that we're all made. Um, we're all made to be unique in some way, and. The thing that makes us unique is, you know, is what you know what differences we are. You know, like how how different we are. You know, it's just that. Um, it's just that. <laughs> the thing that makes us unique is is that we're we have differences. You know, and we we want to be able to connect with people that have those differences. You know, to learn from each other. If we were all born and created the same way, then there would be no way we could learn from each other. No one would talk to each other. There would be no social life. There would be no Facebook. You know, all that stuff. That's what I'm pretty much trying to say. I just summed it up right there. I had to like pretty much just really think this one. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's it pretty much. I'm Sam Belinsky. Um, um, I do my sport. I do that is is uh, powerlifting. I compete in the sport called powerlifting. 
My, uh, I go to Mount Wachusett Community College in Gardner. My, um, my major is fitness leadership and exercise science. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs>